So I built stick bombs for Destin for his channel today here at VidCon, and I wanted to give a quick tutorial on how to build a stick bomb. So here I have a layout that is a very simple, no-tension layout for you to see how the, the end result is going to look. Uh, the things to note here are, one, that with the two color sticks you can easily tell that these red popsicle sticks are all parallel and all going that way, and the green popsicle sticks are all parallel and they're, they're all headed this way. What a f beginners have trouble with is that they try to build too big a square or, or they're, they're bending it in the wrong way, that you're only building something this narrow and it's only just these boxes alternating back and forth and back and forth and it doesn't get any wider than that. You don't need three boxes or four boxes wide, you just need the two. So now I'll take this apart and I will show how to construct it from scratch. So we'll go down to one of each color um, and we'll leave the, the red ones going this way and we'll leave the green ones going that way. And so this one will head over here and this one will head under here and over there. So we will begin to, to put tension into the system this way. And as you can see, these are starting to push up as, as they're getting pressed upward and that the box here and the box here are about the same size. So it's a, it's a good place to start working these things together. So I'll start building this direction first. Um, hold down on this side and slide under here and then lift up and put it over the top there so that you get the beginnings here. And then the next red stick will also go under and then over, and then the next green stick, again, under, let me shift my hands, and over, and keeping the boxes very well proportioned, keeping yourself regimented, is going to make this a whole lot easier as you progress, because the, the rhythm of it and being precise with the proportions is going to help this uh, better. So when you have four, we'll make a, another one, we'll put another red stick on. When you get to five boxes, you can start to put a trigger on it. Because you notice that both ends could make this spring at any moment. So if I let go of this end, it'll spring. If I let go of this, this end under, the, under my hand, it could spring. So let's put a trigger in. A trigger will go and it will cross from these pieces here So here and here, we'll just go underneath. So here we have, it goes from under to under and holds this down so this can't spring. So while I'm holding that down, I have to lift and just edge the trigger underneath. So the trigger is just barely holding in both sides here but you'll notice that if I hold this down it's still holding it solid enough. So now if I move this over with just two fingers I can hold the rest of this piece and do exactly as I was doing before under in the middle and then up on the end and you can just build this as long as you need and you saw in Destin's video that we did some that were about 12 feet long and when you get to the other end which I will do you add another trigger, which will do the, which will do the same thing. Go over, under, over. And so there you have a very small stick bomb, and that's how you build it. You just set it up.